Gotta Love Connecticut Hockey sat down with Cassie Turner, head coach of the Quinnipiac University women's ice hockey team. A distinguished player herself, Turner joined Quinnipiac's coaching staff in 2008. Now she's embracing the challenge of head coach following the team's most successful season to date. Let's meet the coach. Hi Cassie, thanks so much for sitting down with us today. I'm really looking forward to talking about your season. Oh, me too, absolutely. Thanks for coming. So you went to Brown, and you were a two-time captain. You led to two Ivy League and two ECAC championships. What was that experience like for you? Playing at Brown was exactly what I hoped it would be. I had a tremendous female head coach who was an awesome role model for me, and I think it helped me to learn how to win, helped me to learn how to compete, and really challenged myself in every aspect of my life. And I think that's fed so much into my career as a coach. Understanding that playing college hockey was much bigger than what we did on the ice. It was us learning those tangible skills that were going to help us in every aspect of our life. Absolutely. So from 2001 to 2003, you actually played for Canada's U22 team. What was that experience like for you as a player and how did it maybe get you to become a better coach? It was a dream come true to me at that point in my life. I can remember the first time I put on even the Canadian practice jersey and what that felt like for me, just the pride that I had. And I think it helped me to understand elite level athletics and as an athlete, what that takes and the sacrifices and really what it looks like to be a 24 hour athlete. Now in 2008, you came to Quinnipiac as an assistant coach. What made you decide that this was the place for you? Have you looked around? <laughs> this place is phenomenal. When I think about the way the university has invested in athletics here and the way they've invested in academics, I think it's unlike any other opportunity. And for our young women, I think it's a balance. You know, they really have the opportunity to put 100% into academics and 100% into athletics and have both be valued in a way that I think helps prepare them for their career. So what are some of the changes that you've seen over the program, you know, start to finish from where you've been here? You know, when we came here eight years ago, it was certainly a program that hadn't made the playoffs. And so we had to start right away in trying to define a culture. And we wanted people who were committed to this program. So as we were growing and building, you know, we started defense first and, and goaltending first and, and tried to trickle in one or two scorers. And we were lucky we had some key marquee players for us early. You know, we had Victoria Vigilante, who was a goaltender. Then we had Kelly Babstock, who scored 203 points here. And Regan Bolton, who was a great defense. So with a strong culture in behind those key players, I think we were able to build and now attract some more talented players. So what are you looking for each year when you're looking for your new recruits? Character um, is certainly number one. You know, we, we want and we need good people in our program. We can't, we can't teach that. And the second thing is people who are just committed to getting better every day. The people who are going to do whatever they possibly can, use all the resources that they have. And, and there's somebody who a coach would describe as the hardest worker the person who puts the most into it on their team because once they're here with all the resources we have they're incredibly successful. Absolutely and you had a really deep roster last year and you did earn a tournament bid so what was that experience like? Outstanding. I think our kids are hungry <laughs> you know they they love that experience they had earned that experience last year but I think they wish they would have done more with it. They want to get there and they want to do something more. What are the next steps for this year? Because you do have this amazing roster. What's you know what's next for your team? Well, we talk about process a lot. You know, we talk about every day and have this mentality that success is never final. We have it right on the wall in our locker room, and we ask our kids to hit that on the way into the locker room after practice because that's the moment where you did some good things on the ice. You know, and what what can you reflect on and and say how do I get better tomorrow? And so, you know, we're really focused on. It's just seeing how good we can get. How good we get can we get that day? How good can we get that week? And the results hopefully will come for us. Their sights right now are on the ECAC regular season championship because I think that's the first good opportunity they have to, to prove themselves. We really want that. But obviously in the end, what we want <laughs> is the national championship. So what do you think Quinnipiac's chances are this year? I think our chances are good to compete this year. You know, we have great leadership. Our senior captain, Sydney Roosler, she started off this season in such a great way, leading on the ice, but also off the ice. And Kristen Tamberg, who's an assistant, who's a senior for us, and Emma Woods, who's a junior, and I expect them to continue to improve as leaders and hopefully they can be the part that's going to help to push us over the edge. Now you obviously being an Ivy League student yourself, how are you getting your team to really get to the best potential they can for their academics as well as on ice? Every individual on our team is assigned to one of our three coaches and they have academic meetings with that coach. And it's designed to help to get to know them better, to help to learn how they think, to ask them questions about 
what is it that you want to do with your life? You know, what is your next step? How can we help you to accomplish that within the resources we have here at Quinnipiac? Mm -hmm. And our culture has really shifted academically. Where this past semester we were the highest GPA of any athletic team on campus. From the place that we were academically when I first started here eight years ago to where we are today, it's been a tremendous jump and we're incredibly proud of what our student athletes put into it and where we are today. Now besides this, last year you were also the Canadian coach for the U18 team. So what was that experience like taking that international play and bringing it here for this season? When the head of Hockey Canada called and asked me to, to take that role, I think I immediately thought, really me? You know, <laughs> and it was incredibly humbling. I was truly honored to be asked, as I said, you know, if wearing that jersey was so important to me, to now have the opportunity to guide 80 people really through that process between players and staff was mm -hmm. tremendous. When you're in an environment like that, it's a short-term competition environment, the details are heightened. What happens in practice, what happens in terms of your preparation for your planning for that entire selection camp, all those details are heightened and your opportunity to teach is limited. So I think that's really helped me here, um, going through that process last year, to be in an environment where now we have a little bit more time, but to have been somewhere where it was a high-pressure environment and use those skills now with our team has been really nice for me. What are some of the differences that you see from coaching um, you know, a women's team compared to men players? Women ask questions. We want, it. We want <laughs> answers. You know, I've actually had the privilege to coach men as well. And the attention to detail from female players, we're just such intrinsic thinkers as well. So if you were to make a general statement to a group of men, every man would probably say, oh, it was that guy. Well, he wasn't doing it. Where every female would probably say, oh man, I must not be doing that, or I am doing that. I think for women, we take everything a little bit more directly to ourselves, which is a great opportunity to help people to grow and get better. So I really enjoy that element of coaching females. You're producing so many wonderful, great women players here. I mean, what, what's really nice for you as coach? I hope to continue that. When I define success in this program, it's making sure that our seniors are the best versions of themselves they can possibly be when they graduate. For women's hockey, we do have an NWHL now, which is great, but they need to be confident that they can handle their careers and take the next step, and that's what we're preparing these young women for. We want them to be ready for every challenge in their life. What advice would you have for the young girls that watch our show that are really interested in someday you know, having the opportunity that your players have right now? I think dream big, you know, women's hockey is growing. There are opportunities for so many young women. So I think, you know, love the game and, and do what you can to, to enjoy it as you work to get better. All right, thanks so much, Coach. You're welcome.